MICO designs, manufactures, and sells hydraulic components and systems for heavy-duty off-road vehicles and equipment. We have been providing our customers with quality hydraulic braking technology and services for over 50 years. Welcome to our series of MICO product training presentations. This presentation will cover modulating valves. Let's start by explaining what exactly modulating valves are and what they do. MICO modulating valves are hydraulic power brake valves whose function is to provide directional control of brake system pressure as well as provide the operator with a pedal feel proportional to the brake system pressure. The term modulate in reference to the modulating brake valve is defined as moving gradually from one state to another. The operator's input force on the modulating power brake valve controls and vary brake system pressure within a predetermined pressure range. Modulating brake valves are considered closed centered because they block the fluid at the pressure ports while the brake pedal is in the released position. By contrast, reverse modulating valves are closed centered when the brake pedal is fully applied. Myco modulating valves are available in two different designs. Spool design valves are physically smaller than the poppet design and are usually less expensive. There are several model types of spool design modulating valves including single, tandem, pedal pilot, and reverse. The poppet design modulating valves are available in single, dual, tandem, pedal pilot, and reverse models. They use a ball and seat configuration to provide virtually zero leakage. The poppet design also provides a greater flow capacity than the spool design. All MICO modulating valves are pre-adjusted at the factory using specific spool diameters, springs, and shims. A properly adjusted valve operates within the adjusted pressure range and will prevent overpressurization of the brake system. When used with a properly sized accumulator and accumulator charging valve, these valves can provide normal and emergency power off braking in a variety of open center, closed center, and load sensing hydraulic systems. Myco modulating valves can be actuated in a number of ways. These actuation devices include a number of different pedal configurations, lever, treadle, cam, pilot pressure, and electrohydraulic. Myco single modulating valves are used in single brake systems and can be used for modulating output pressures of up to 3000 PSI. The valves shown here are spool design single modulating valves. Actuation devices for the Myco single modulating valve include the standard upright pedal, a suspended pedal, a horizontal pedal, a push rod arrangement, pilot control, or a lever. With no force applied to the brake pedal, the valve is maintained in the neutral position by the bias spring. A return spring holds the input piston and pedal in the release position. The spool blocks hydraulic system pressure at the pressure port and the brake port is open to the tank through the tank port. As force is applied to the pedal, it is transferred through the pressure compensating spring to the spool. While the spool moves, the bias spring compresses to the point where the spool lands isolate all valve ports. This is the closed position, the first stage in the actuation of a modulating valve. Depending on the land relationship of the spool and housing, the closed position can be obtained by long or short distance spool travel. The amount of pedal and spool travel it takes to arrive at the closed position is called free travel because brake system pressure has not yet been affected. In the closed position, there are two factors that control the spool location. Pedal force transmitted through the compensating spring and force supplied by the bias spring. Additional pedal force moves the spool beyond the closed position and allows fluid to flow by land one to the brake port. This can happen gradually or rapidly, depending on the amount of pedal force. Resistance to fluid flow downstream from the brake port is communicated through the pilot and into a cavity. Pressure in the cavity acting against the area of the spool, as well as the force of the bias spring, provides a counter force to the compensating spring. There are three factors influencing the spool location. Pedal force transmitted through the compensating spring, force supplied by the bias spring, and counter force of pilot pressure on the spool. Spool position will continue to change until these forces balance at each end of the spool. When the forces acting on each end of the spool equalize, it is balanced and assumes a closed position stopping fluid flow at land one. If pedal force on the compensating spring is increased, the spool will open at land one and allow fluid flow through the brake port. 
Pilot pressure in the cavity increases until the spool is once again balanced. When pedal force is decreased, the spool moves closing at land 1 and opening at land 2. This allows pressurized fluid in the brake system to flow to the tank until the forces on the spool are again balanced. Any change in pedal force is countered by change in the opposing force, which ultimately controls the amount of pressure in the brake system. Maximum achievable brake system pressure occurs when the brake pedal is fully applied and the piston is bottomed in the housing. When the pedal is completely released, the valve will return to the neutral condition shown earlier. The check ball prevents a sudden pressure increase at the tank port from entering the piston area and affecting the pedal feel. Brake pressure can be adjusted by changing the compensating spring and or adding or removing shims. The brake pressure setting is pre-adjusted at MICO and is not to be adjusted by the customer. MICO tandem modulating power brake valves are used in split brake systems. They isolate the front and rear brakes by providing two individual pressure outputs within a single valve. In the event of failure in either half of the brake system, the other portion of the valve will continue to function. Actuation devices for the MICO tandem modulating valve include the standard upright pedal, a suspended pedal, a horizontal pedal, a push rod arrangement, pilot control, or a lever. The valves shown here are all spool design tandem modulating valves. The operation of the MICO spool design tandem modulating power brake valve is very similar to the spool design single modulating valve. The difference is that the tandem valve has two spools and two sets of ports. This arrangement allows for the independent operation of each half regardless of the condition of the other half of the tandem valve. With no force applied to the brake pedal, the valve is maintained in the neutral position by the bias spring. The upper and lower spools block hydraulic system pressure at the pressure ports. Brake ports are open to the tank through the tank port. As force is applied to the pedal, it is transferred through the pressure compensating spring to the upper and lower spools. While compressing the bias spring, the spools move to a point where their lands are isolating all valve ports. This is the closed position, the first stage in the actuation of the valve. Depending on the land relationship of the spool and housing, the closed position can be obtained by long or short distance spool travel. The amount of pedal and spool travel it takes to arrive at the closed position is called free travel because brake system pressure has not yet been affected. In the closed position, there are two factors that control the upper spool and the lower spool locations. Pedal force transmitted through compensating spring and force of bias spring. Additional pedal force moves the upper spool beyond the closed position and allows fluid to flow past land 2 to the brake port. Resistance to fluid flow downstream from the brake port is communicated through pilot 1 and into cavity 1. Pressure in cavity 1 builds and moves the lower spool beyond the closed position and allows fluid to flow by land 4 to the brake port. Pressure in cavities 1 and 2 as well as force of the bias spring continue to change until they equal the force of the compensating spring, which independently balances upper and lower spools. While upper and lower spools are in the balanced condition, fluid flow at lands 2 and 4 stops. If the pedal force on the compensating spring is increased, the spools will open at lands 2 and 4, which will allow fluid flow to the brake ports. Pressure in cavities 1 and 2 will increase until the spools are once again balanced. When pedal force is decreased, the upper and lower spools move to close at lands 2 and 4 and open at lands 1 and 3. This allows pressurized fluid in the brake system to flow to the tank until the forces on the spools are again balanced. Any change in pedal force is countered by a change in the opposing force, which ultimately controls the amount of pressure in the brake system. Maximum achievable brake system pressure occurs when the brake pedal is fully applied and the piston is bottomed in the housing. When the brake pedal is released, the brake will return to the neutral condition. Similar to the single modulating valves, the brake pressure can be adjusted by changing the compensating spring and or adding or removing shims. The brake pressure setting is pre-adjusted at MICO and is not to be adjusted by the customer. As with the single modulating valves, these valves are also available for two-stage modulation. The MICO tandem modulating power brake valve with pilot apply provides an additional method of brake application through a hydraulic signal from a remote location. Both valves shown here are spool design models. 
One valve is using the standard upright pedal, while the other is using the horizontal pedal configuration. When the pedal tandem modulating valve with pilot apply power brake valve is operated, the pedal force is mechanically communicated through a push rod to an input piston. The operation of this valve is the same as the tandem power brake valve. However, this valve has incorporated a pilot apply section for hydraulic actuation from a remote location. Pressurized fluid enters the pilot port and acts on the differential area of the piston. The piston moves to provide force on the input piston. When the valve is applied using the pilot instead of the main pedal, modulated pedal feel from the remote actuating device will not be precise. This is due to the hysteresis caused by seal drag and the resistance of fluid flow through the pilot line. Myco reverse modulating power brake valves are used to actuate spring apply hydraulic release brakes. When the brake pedal is applied, pressure in the brake system decreases and allows controlled application of the spring apply brake. Maximum brake torque is produced when hydraulic brake system pressure is eliminated. Brake pedal force is inversely proportional to the brake line pressure, providing the feedback for good braking control. Myco reverse modulating valves are available in either spool design or poppet design models. The model shown here is a spool design reverse modulating valve. The reverse modulating valve shown here is in the condition after initial startup. With no force applied to the brake pedal, a spring maintains the valve in an energized condition. The force of the compensating spring is equal to the counter force of pressure in the cavity plus force of the bias spring. The spool is in a neutral position. Brake system pressure is causing the spring apply hydraulic release brakes to be in a release condition. As force is applied to the pedal, it is transferred to the pull rod moving it upward and compressing a spring. The reduced force of the compensating spring allows the spool to move. Fluid from the brake port flows to the tank at the land. As the pressure in the brake port is reduced, the spring apply brakes will begin to apply. If the pressure in the brake system is reduced to zero pressure, the spring apply brakes will be providing maximum brake torque. When the pedal is applied and released, changes will occur in the forces at each end of the spool. When these forces counterbalance one another, the spool will return to the balanced position. The check ball function is to provide a flow path to relieve the pressurized brake system fluid in a power off condition. If pressure is lost at the pressure port, the check ball will unseat and allow brake system pressure to exhaust out the pressure port, causing the brakes to apply. The valve shown here is a poppet design Myco single modulating valve. These valves, like the spool design modulating valves, are used in single brake systems and can be used for modulating output pressures up to 3000 psi. With no force applied to the brake pedal, the valve is maintained in a neutral position. The brake port is open to the tank through the tank port. Hydraulic system pressure at the pressure port is blocked by the valve assembly lower ball, which is closed against the seat. The valve assembly lower ball is held against the seat by upward force from the bias spring against the guide, as well as the hydraulic force acting on the differential area. The differential area equals area B, where the lower ball contacts the seat, minus area A, the guide area. Without the differential area, modulating control of this valve would be virtually impossible. The pressure acting on the differential area is much like the pilot pressure acting on the spool type valves. As force is applied to the pedal, it is transferred through the pressure compensating spring to a piston. A spring compresses and the piston moves until it seats on the upper ball of the valve assembly. The passage between the brake port and tank closes. The valve is now in a closed position, the first stage in actuation. Additional pedal force will begin to move the lower ball of the valve assembly off the seat and allow fluid flow to the brake port. This can happen gradually or rapidly, depending on the amount of pedal force. Resistance to fluid flow downstream from the brake port is acting on the differential of areas B and C. Force of the compensating spring on the piston is counterbalanced by the hydraulic pressure acting on the differential of area C minus area B plus the force of the bias spring. When the forces acting on each end of the piston equalize, the piston and valve assembly are balanced and assume a closed position. If pedal force is increased, the lower ball of the valve assembly will unseat and allow fluid flow to the brake port as well as on the differential area until the piston valve assembly is balanced again. When the brake pedal is fully applied, 
the input piston is mechanically stopped by contact with the valve housing. At this point, the force of the compensating spring determines the maximum modulated pressure. Maximum pressure can be adjusted by adding or removing shims. When the pedal is completely released, the brake will return to a neutral condition. The MICO pedal-operated hydraulic dual brake valve was designed for large volume hydraulic brake systems. It consists of two separate closed center modulating brake valves mechanically actuated by a treadle. The treadle balances the force applied to the valves by the pedal. Each valve incorporates a reaction piston that senses the brake pressure. This reaction gives the operator a positive feel of the brake pressure. As the output or brake pressure increases due to more pedal movement, the pedal becomes progressively harder to push. Each valve incorporates a spring to limit the maximum pressure to the brakes regardless of how much higher the input pressure might be or how hard the pedal is pushed. A ball seat type seal provides a very positive seal against internal leakage. If one half of the brake system should malfunction, the other valve will still operate on the remaining half with a corresponding reduction in pedal effort. The modulating valve portion of this brake valve is applied with a spring pack to provide a required output pressure. The pedal assembly releases the spring force when the pedal is applied. This action decreases the pressure from the valve to the brake from the preset output pressure to zero as the pedal is depressed. When used in conjunction with spring apply hydraulic release brakes, reducing the pressure allows the brakes to build torque and stop the vehicle. Operation of the poppet design reverse modulating valve is much the same as the spool design. With no force applied to the brake pedal, the spring section maintains the brake valve in an energized condition. The valve assembly is in a neutral position. Brake system pressure is causing the spring apply hydraulic release brakes to be in the release condition. As force is applied to the pedal, it is transferred to a pull rod moving it upward and compressing the springs in the spring section. Reduced force of the compensating spring allows the valve assembly upper ball to move off its seat and fluid from the brake port to flow to the tank. As the pressure in the brake port is reduced, the spring apply brakes will begin to apply. If the pressure in the brake system is reduced to zero pressure, the spring apply brakes will be providing maximum brake torque. Apply and release of the pedal will cause change in the forces that balance the valve assembly. When the forces at each end of the valve assembly counterbalance one another, the valve assembly will return to a balanced position. The function of the check ball is to provide a flow path to relieve pressurized brake system fluid in a power off condition. If pressure is lost at the pressure port, the check ball will unseat and allow brake system pressure to exhaust out the pressure port, causing the brakes to apply. Meeting the needs of our customers is the number one goal at MICO. If you need additional information, please contact us by internet, fax or phone. MICO is ready to serve you.